The significance of World EV Day gets bigger and bigger every year with the market expanding. There's no dearth of new launches and of course, electric two-wheelers and three-wheelers are leading the race. Just look around, we even have so many of them here at the EV India Expo 2022 and we are here to pick the top five. We begin with the Odyssey Evo Q15 which instantly reminds you of a certain petrol-powered mid-capacity engine motorcycle but is designed for the daily commute. The 4.3 kWh battery powers a 72-volt powertrain that delivers 64 Nm of wheel torque and can clock a top speed of 80 km per hour. The battery pack can be completely recharged in 6 hours. We now move to Gaia, which is a new imprint in the electric two-wheeler space and while the company offers both low-speed scooters and high-speed motorcycles, the R1 high-speed motorcycle has been attracting quite a few eyeballs courtesy its sharp design. The Gaia R1 electric is still a prototype so we don't have all the technical details as yet. But we can tell you that the motorcycle offers 110 km of range on a single charge and can clock a top speed of 100 km per hour. Even Mahindra Electric showed up at the EV India Expo this year with its Trio last mile connectivity range. The Mahindra Trio has been a major volume driver in the electric three-wheeler space with 73.4% market share in financial year 2022. The Trio gets a single electric motor belting out 10 brake horsepower and 42 Nm of peak torque. Next up is eField that launched its mover electric three-wheeler range at the EV India Expo and is targeting double-digit market share in the last mile connectivity space. The mover electric three-wheeler features an enclosed body and the 110 ampere battery provides a range of 90 km on a full charge with the top speed being limited to 25 km per hour. And now comes our final pick of the day which is a poster boy of sorts everyone wants to get clicked with. So electric two-wheelers are leading the race even here and our final peak today is this, the Joy Thunderbolt. Now even this is a commuter motorcycle but looks quite sporty and sexy. This can go for up to 150 km on a single charge which takes around 9 hours. The 73.6 volt battery pack powers a single electric motor and the company claims a running cost of 40 pesa per kilometer for the Thunderbolt. More than 200 companies participated at the EV India Expo this year, but mainstream EV players like Aether Energy, Ola Electric, Hero Electric, Okinawa and Ampere were conspicuous by their absence at the Expo. That said, there's a lot happening in the EV world and over the next 12 months, we are likely to see a lot of new products as well as new brands making their debut in the market.